Para sa initial assessment ng mga koponan sa UAP Season 78 Women's Volleyball Tournament, kasama natin ang volleyball analyst si Mozi Ravena. Mozi, welcome back to The Score. Hello. Thanks to have you, uh, to have you back, especially UAP Volleyball Season. Everybody's super excited. Hanggang ngayon, trending topic pa rin. Oo nga, lahat ng teams. Wild. Okay, let's start this off. Chronologically, uh, first uh, game uh, over the weekend was UP and UE. A lot of people are so excited for both these teams na nag-ramp up na kanilang lineups, lalo na yung UP. Pero ano nakita mo sa game na yun amid sa fact that UP won that handily? Pero uh, you were saying kanina that UE is a fighting team this year. That's right. They're a taller team okay. this year. And uh, ang nakita ko doon, maganda yung ginawa ni Coach Francis mm -hmm. Vicente because he, he knew that he has a tall team. Yep. Ginawa niya yung commitment sa blocking always there. So okay. ang ganda ng nilaro nila, even if it was just a three-setter, yeah. ang ganda ng laban nila against UP. So they were much more competitive right. than before. And that's what we'll expect, you think, from UE this year? I think so, Mas yeah. palaban talaga oh. this year. Okay. Uh, itong UP naman, uh, marami na excited talaga kasi maganda yung kanilang recruitment class, sabi mo nga. And ito na, first chance to show off this new uh, rookie class for UP. And how, how was your first assessment of these new players of, of UP? Well, panalo ang panalo talaga si Coach Jerry when okay. comes to the uh, rookie class. Mm -hmm. no? He got a lot of really good rookies. Okay. Plus, yung uh, bumalik pa si Kathy Bersona, yes, which oh. really, and si Tiamson, which really completed the team. Okay. So, you don't get very, uh, yung, yung spread out yung scoring ng UP. Yun nga, when I looked at the stat mm -hmm. sheet, yung ko napansin. Tama. Parang, teka lang, sino ba yung star ngayon? Kalat eh. Almost Kalat. four girls had double digit scoring. Almost four. Yun ang nakakatakot yeah, doon. Oh. Especially, Kalat yon, and mm. you have about two, three rookies inside. Yes, yes. So it's not a surprise for you how well those rookies played together with no. the veterans? Yeah, because uh, some of them already played for in 17 under. Okay. And dun sa Hope School mm -hmm. na kinukoach na ni Coach Jerry. Okay. So we saw them play na in high school. Okay. And you knew that they were going to be stars in So hindi lang sila potential level. talent, hinug na talaga sila yes. for UAP. All right. So very exciting to see more of UP this year. The second game ng Sunday was, of course, the defending champions at Neo versus NU. This surprised some people of how short it was. Uh, a lot of people siguro expected more from NU considering the fact that si Coach Roger had a full off-season to prepare with this team. Anong uh, nakita mo sa match na yun? Yun nga, of all the games, doon ako medyo na-disappoint okay. because we were really prepared for a long one. Okay. Plus, yun, um, ang tagal kasi ng lal sa volleyball eh. I think extra two months. Mm -hmm. So, uh, inisip mo na makakatulong yun to Correct. a team especially like NU yes, who had uh, a new coach. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, it was a three-setter mm -hmm. but I don't think naman na indicative yun of what they will, how they will play this okay. whole season. But still, you know, because they're up naman against Ateneo, the uh, uh -oh, yung defending champion. So, not a fair assessment uh, mm -hmm. to judge them in one right. game considering Ateneo kasi yung kinalaman right, nila. Right. Pero anong nakita mo sa NU in that game? Anong saan kaya sila kinulang uh, to bring their A game against Ateneo in that game? Well, ang ako din to Coach Roger because alam mo na sa second set pa lang tatlong setters na nagamit niya so wow. okay. so I think dun siya sa setting problem yung okay. setting problem siya no? okay. and uh, I guess it's more of um uh, con confidence mm -hmm. when it comes to his old setters. Okay. Kasi binalik niya ni si Sullivan eh, yung okay. dati niyang setter. Bumalik, binalik niya sa lineup. But still, yun na nga, medyo nagkagulo pa sila in the first game. So, hindi ko yung expect na it will spill mm -hmm. over the second or the third game. I All don't right. think so. For Ateneo naman, um, as expected, uh, Eliza carried them and uh, led the way. Pero maraming nagulat at nag-trending pa talaga si Madaya oh. for that game. Tell us what you thought about this this new player, Madaya. Well, well, last year, because nakita ko na yan si Madi Madaya naglaro sa palarong pang bansa. Okay. And last year, nung napunta siya sa lineup, tayo ko kanila lo kasi libum. Nako, magaling yan, magaling yan. Pero okay. hindi nga siya, she was so, uh, hardly used yun. last okay, year. Yes. But uh, I guess si Coach Tyre naman gusto yung pagginamit siya, mm -hmm. yung ano um, um maganda na no yung ibang level na rin yung ilalaro niya that's what uh -huh. happened in the first game 13 what, points i think ano? yes what does it, what does she bring anong maiko complement pa niya sa isang ateneo team na masasabi naman nating buo naman as a defending champion team well si Maddie kasi is a natural middle hitter okay. plus magaling yung timing niya sa block mm -hmm. so ngayon si Amy Ahomiro na hindi naman natural middle hitter. Okay. Pwede na siyang bumalik sa dati niyang position right. where she's more comfortable. Okay, so very interesting composition mm -hmm. ng Ateneo team this year with the new addition. Well, technically she's been there, right. pero ngayon lang talaga nabababad and uh, we should expect more exciting stuff from them. Okay, today finally we had the first five setter. Oh. Doon ka pa nasalang, tama? Oh. <laughs> okay, ako, ako. Uh, USC, oh, USC Adamson. Uh, wow, first of all, 
Uh, lumamang ang USC na dalawa, no? Tama ba? Ng Adamson na Adamson na dalawa. Oh, okay. first then, two sets. Uh, paano nakabawi uh, yung USC na catch well, up the last two sets? Well, first two sets and then Rondina happened. <laughs> Rondina si Rondina, Rondina happened, ha yep. had what? 30 points? 30 points. 30 Grabe. big points. Mm. Ito yung mga sinasabi natin na mga sophomore mm. players na this year, ang laki ng improvement. Mm. Dapat meron tayong most improved. Ano? <laughs> Kaagad, oh, eh, no? <laughs> meron tayong, ang daming pwede Madami talaga. Madami talaga. This year, Should oh. be fun to look out for that. Pero, yun na nga, so, nakabawi, Naka nag nagtabla mm -hmm. ng two all. Paano naman naka-recover yung Adams in the fifth set? I mean, sometimes, you lose all momentum eh. Pag nahayaan mo yung 2-0 lead mo in the first two sets to go down, and then tinabla ka, the confidence gets rattled. Lalo na fifth set is a shorter set. Right. So, ano nangyari? Paano siya well, nakabawi? Well, si Galanza pa rin, in the end, okay. she still made those points and kahit kayo ace in mm. that at in the, the end, end of correct, the game. Correct, so, hindi rin siya, no, letting up um, kay Galanza. What I you like about her is yung, su uh, yung swag niya, when mm -hmm. she enters the court, alam mo, lalaban lang, okay. ganun. And in fact, generally, that's what I saw with Adamson this okay. year. Iba, iba yung kilos, iba yung galaw. Siguro yung ano nila, um, training nila sa Thailand, nakatulong ah, ng malaki din dun sa right. kumpiyansa nila. Well, yeah. it was a fun game to watch. And I think sa lahat ng matches, ito ata yung meron talagang parang one-on-one -on -one showdown. Right. Ron, Sobra. Rondina had 30 points, Galanza had 28 <laughs> points. I mean, what kind of a you know, uh, fun thing to watch was it for the fans today? And, and showdown na yun. Kasi in these two girls, when you see them play, mm. Very entertaining eh. Like si Rondina, di ba, with all her mga uh, ano, celebrations correct, after. Correct. And si Galanza naman, yung, yung swag niya nga. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, so it's really nice to see them play. Plus, yung level of play that they showed us today was really is, is so fun to watch. Alright, so a lot more mm -hmm. great things to expect from USC and Adamson as well. And then to cap the night off, we had DLSU and FEU, two teams na dark horses for a lot of people, mm -hmm. for the Final Four, maybe even the Finals. Pero it was still a three-set uh, three sweep para, para sa Lasal. Uh, Naasama ba ito na it would be that easy for Lasal? Well, uh, syempre ang Lasal very competitive mm. and another very tall team. Yep. Mm. So, ini, ang FEU naman, on the other hand, nakita ko na sila, they're not tall, not mm. so tall, but you always expect FEU to fight. Mm -hmm. Pero kanina dun sa game, there were moments na sila pa nga yung naglilid. In yep. fact, um, dun sa first and second set, I think they led as much as mga five, six points. Mm -hmm. So, so, parang, syempre, ikaw nag-expect ka na. But yeah. uh, still, it was a good fight coming mm -hmm. from FEU. But, uh, yun, uh, LaSalle still closed it with the three-setter So, this is one of those games that the final score does not necessarily define right. how well these two yes. teams played. So, yun. Uh, Araga lang, her comeback game after that injury last year dun sa final for Step Ladder. So, a lot of LaSalle fans were really eager to see her back. How well did she play today para sa iyo? So, tingin well, sa, sa akin... Believe talaga ako okay. sa kanya, TJ. And you know, yun sa injury na nakuha niya, mm -hmm. I can't believe that she's playing this well. Mm -hmm. I mean, hindi naman siguro at the level of uh, how she, yung last game niya, yeah. but she will get there. Okay. I really think she will get there this season. And you think uh, buo pa rin, solid enough pa rin tong Lasal to be another contender this year? Pwede. Alright, should be a lot of fun to watch. Thanks, Mozi. Sorry talaga na quiz ka namin sa lahat ng eight teams. <laughs> <laughs> Talagang hinamo namin. <laughs> lahat na, lahat na. <laughs> Well, after men's na lang, naman, men's love naman. life ni Kifa na lang pag-usap natin. Pag-commercial na yun. <laughs> anyway, Mozzie, thank you so much. Ulitin, salamat, salamat. Okay. Thank you, thank you.